On Thursday, June 6, after a thorough interview process among 14 eligible candidates, Waco City Council selected George Chase to fill the unexpired term for the District 5 Council seat. The position became vacant when Jim Holmes, the former District 5 Council member, was elected mayor. Building on the momentum that we have, uh, whether it's downtown, uh, what, what Baylor has going on, and then, and then the new business and the growing businesses that we have. And I think that is a huge opportunity. Chase will be sworn in at the next City Council meeting on Tuesday, June 18th, and will serve on City Council until the next City General Election in May 2025. City Council is confident that George Chase's experience and dedication will greatly benefit the community and District 5. The new City of Waco flag is going on vacation. As part of Waco McLennan County Library's new program, residents can borrow the official Waco flag at any Waco Library location. Take it with you on your next vacation adventure. Snap a photo of yourself with the flag against a stunning backdrop, showcasing your Waco spirit from mountain peaks to tropical beaches and everywhere in between. To borrow a flag, visit any of the four Waco Library locations or go to wacolibrary.org. Don't forget to send your pictures to the email listed on the flag package label. The City of Waco's Communications and Marketing Department won six Telly Awards for their video productions. The Tellys are not just government awards, but an industry standard in marketing, showcasing work created within television and video for all screens. The videos are a fun, educational, and positive way to show residents what our organization is all about. The City of Waco won four Silver Awards and two Bronze Awards for On the Job Waco Fire Department, Waco McLennan County Library, where your imagination comes to life, Waco, a city to believe in, We Are Waco, Team Waco, and Waco Glass Recycling, Purple Rain.